Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Brave Story New Traveler. Last time, we uh, made it into the desert ruins to rescue Melody. Last words. And uh, we did, but then we got more than we bargained for because now we're stuck down here in the Emmet Colony, which is like these uh, massive bugs or whatever trying to kill us all. And uh, anyway, we're trying to rescue Melody's co workers, her co Highlanders, her partners. Eh, whoever they are. So we're down here, uh, just trying to take care of them. So here we have a new enemy, the Emmet Lord. And, uh, yeah. He puts up these iron defenses, which makes his defense power just go through the roof. And it's pretty hard to, uh, beat him, but this bug strike ability is so good down here. It doesn't get through the iron defenses all that well, but, um, eh, it does its job and it kills everything else. So that's all I really care about. He also can hit really hard. And he has uh, another attack, it's called something like uh, Tribal Rage or something like that. Excellent. And it does a shit ton of damage to uh, you, but it also deals damage to him, so more than likely he'll end up killing himself using that. But I'll uh, just go ahead on down here into this little passage to get some treasure. What do we have here? Oh, it's a uh, Fruit of Bravery. You can use that to increase your max BP. Whoa-oh! Oh my god, it's a Mimic! Wasn't expecting this, huh? We're caught off guard, too. Isn't this lovely? Urgh, that really hurts. You can do about, like, double the amount of damage that the uh, Emmet Lords can do, so... Uh, what do I want to use? I'll just attack, yeah. Keep on attacking. Oh, let's try this full swing that uh, Sogreth learned at his last level up. It costs 16 BP to use, so it's pretty expensive, but it deals a lot of damage, so that's kind of nice. Urgh, she's gonna have to heal. That's not good. Um... Hmm. Yeah, heal yourself, Melody. Okay, yeah. Uh, just attack. You don't have any VP anyway, so keep on going. There we go. There isn't that much left of the dungeon um, that we need to go through, and there are some healing points coming up, so I'm not too concerned about using up my VP and things like that. Uh, but yeah, heal yourself, Melody. This guy can be very um, difficult. A wannabe chest. <laughs> Uh, kind of interesting there. Okay, get some glisten stones, some nice experience, and uh, keep on moving right along. From this point, we actually want to go past the entrance all the way up to the uh, northernmost point of the colony to get some more treasure. And there's actually an entrance up here uh, to the colony, but we can't use it right now. It's kind of blocked by spider webs or something. Yeah. So we'll get some treasure. What do we have here? Ooh, 894 Thames. Hey, that'll come in handy. Now, there is a question mark flashing in the upper right-hand corner of the screen right now because uh, last time I got the Oblivious status ailment put on me, and that means that you can't use any Bravura skills. You can still use Unity skills, and if you want to, you can use a Recall Juice to uh, heal that status ailment, but I'm not going to worry about it because there is a uh, healing point coming up relatively shortly that will heal that status ailment right here. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, uh, nothing to be concerned about. So anyway, go on down here and take the rightmost path for... Whoa! Well, we found her uh, friends, co-workers, Highlanders. I'm gonna go with co-workers and Highlanders. I'm assuming that they're friends, but eh, we don't know. We have a ghastly wounds. Chief? Sorry, I didn't get here sooner. You needed me and I let you down. Don't be ridiculous, we were just taking naps. <laughs> hey, Splinter. Well, they seem fine. That's good, they're not killed. Yeah, they were just hanging out. Resting, sure. Plausible explanation. Sorry, sir, really bungled this one. Don't worry about it, I'm getting you out of here. Ain't gonna be that simple. Whoa! What's going on now? Whoa! It's here. Hey, Chief Melody, what's that sound? Ermestine, Queen of the Emmets. Or Emmestine, I guess. Uh-oh, yeah, what's up? As Branch Chief, I command you to take Wrath, Lloyd, and Pram and get on out of here. Well, what about you? I'll take the rear. Uh, I don't think so. In that case, I quit being a Highlander. Oh, he's just gonna take his band and, uh, throw it down on the ground, I guess. Yeah, there it goes. Count me out, two. Count me out, three. Heck, 
Count us out. Six. Shut up, you know. Ugh. God, you're damn annoying. Stubborn fools. Sorry, man. We ain't leaving. There's still work to do. Always look to the future, remember? No Koroba class stands allowed. Besides, you're not the branch chief right now. Hey, look what we picked up in the desert! Um, what did we pick up? Oh yeah, we picked up that band. That's right. Yeah, sure. Huh, my band. Got me there. Alright, forget who's the branch chief and who's the novice. Grab your weapons and carve past through that thing! Yeah, it's boss time! Whoa! Ooh, that guy looks like he means business. Come on, Ant Face, bring it! Wow, when'd she get an attitude? Cool! Well, thankfully, he doesn't throw you straight on into the fray, so good talk to these guys. Ooh, well, thanks, what do I get? Sweet, a dash tonic. Okay, you gonna give me anything too? Huh. Awesome. Ooh, a tenderloin, thank you. And what do you have for me? Sweet, a force caustic. Let's check those things out and see what we got here. Uh, let's see, the dash tonic, the temple raises your agility, this lowers an enemy's attack, and the tenderloin, I believe, heals you. Uh, yeah. Also, that strength diagram number two that we got, you can use that to make, um, a pretty decent accessory. The, uh, where is it? The might necklace right here increases your strength slightly, and I went ahead and I did that and equipped most of them on Melody. You can see here the difference if you give her the might ring and then the might necklace. Um, it increases the strength by yet another point, so that's pretty nice for her, especially because she has the, um, the bug swatter, which deals extra damage to bugs. So let's take her on! I like the ass shot that it gives there. It's like Medusa. Oh, more ass shots. But you don't have any eyeballs. It's all asses and no eyeballs! So let's see. Hmm, ooh, that could be nice, but I'm gonna go with, uh... Uh, we'll try this. The light spark against you? Well, actually, no. Let's not use that. Let's use, um... Hmm. Yeah, let's see. This Highlander Spirit weighs both attack, both of their attack power, have her attack, and then we'll use the Bug Strike Unity. Now, Melody's main role here is, um, going to be healing. But, whenever she can get some attacks in, I want her to, because she can deal about a hundred damage with her hits. So that's really, really nice. Um, but we still have some decent HP, um, so I'm not going to worry about it too much, because we can get some, uh, we're worry about healing right now too much, because we can get some decent attack powers in with, uh, Tatsuya and Sogra. Uh-oh. Whoa! Yeah, this guy can be pretty difficult, and if you want to, you can bring in, um, what's-her-face, um, what's-her-name, uh, Yuna, to, uh, attack as well, but, or to heal. Um, and then have Melody go on the offense, but I don't think that that's necessary. Um, you know what? I really shouldn't have used Bug Strike, because now I'm going to have no BP to actually use it. I wasn't really thinking right there, but, eh, whatever. It's not too difficult. After this, Melody will probably have to go on, uh, healing duty, because, yeah, he's going to keep on using that Zed Storm and dealing with tons of damage. So that's going to be pretty bad. So even right there, if you don't have enough BP to use um, your ability, you'll still attack, so that's pretty nice. Okay, with you, let's use, um, we'll use Light Spark, see how much damage that does. I'm gonna have you use your EX heal so we can heal more damage, and you, um, ooh, guaranteed critical. Yeah, we'll use that. That'd be pretty nice. Bam! So 50 damage there. Oh, not bad. Whoa! Yeah, good thing I used the EX heal rather than the regular heal. Oh, but thankfully he didn't use that Zed Storm again, so that's pretty nice. Okay, we should be fine. I am going to have, uh, oh, that wore off. So let's, uh, uh, yeah, let's use the Highlander Spirit again. Let's have you heal up Sobreth and just have you attack so that you can get some more BP in order to use uh, that anti-bug skill that you have. There we go. Stay with us. Hopefully, after this next round of healing, um, I'll be able to actually use Melody to attack. That would be really nice, considering her speed is higher than um, than the enemy's speed. Oh, good. Now it's even now it's even better because uh, previously she had an agility down on her. So yeah, that'd be nice. Get some extra damage in with Melody. 
Bam! Look at that! Look at that offense! She does so much more damage than everybody else. You could even, like, take out Sogret and put in Yuno and just have Yuno heal and have Melody um, on major attacking right now. Uh-oh. This is not good. Uh, let's see. I'm going to have... Yeah, I'm going to have you heal yourself with a Mako Berry. I'm going to have you uh, heal yourself. And I'm going to have you use Bug Strike. There we go. Yeah, who knew I... That's all it does? 25? Seriously? Eh, well, I mean, I guess it's... I'm glad that I did it, considering that you just got hit yet again. But totally next round, I'm going to have to have Melody heal him with a uh, EX heal. Now, Melody's healing is honestly better than uh, Yuno's healing. Yuno doesn't have all that great healing. Her healing is just the regular heal spell that will heal about 50. She doesn't have, like, an extra healing spell like Melody has, so... That's another reason why I chose to put Melody in this battle, not only for the extra offense, but because her healing power is just so much better. Oh, thank God you didn't have Tatsuya. Ugh, she has to heal herself again, man. You know what, it might be better to use item healing, but... Eh, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Yeah, just attack. You can tell that he's uh, starting to get worn down. He's kind of in his little next phase where he kind of, you know, is putting his head down and everything. Urgh. We should be fine, though. Yeah. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Um, so, next turn, I can actually have Melody heal again. Or not heal again. Uh, attack again. Put on the offense. And I'm going to have Tatsuya use uh, Bug Strike Unity and have her just attack and have you just attack. There we go. And you're getting tons of damage. Hopefully, this should be enough to kill him. Uh, considering. So, let's do this. There we go. Awesome! Yeah, not too bad. And if you're having problems, just take out Sobra and put in Yuno. Have Yuno heal every single turn and have Melody and Tatsuya keep up the punishment with physical hits. That's probably the best way to go, but, eh, why not? I didn't really feel like changing my party around for this. Nice! Awesome, levels all around. Ooh, love song, hey! Awesome! That's probably a better healing spell now that I really think about it. Well, everybody's tired except for Sograth. Yeah, Sograth looks fine. Uh, you didn't do anything, you know. Get up! Gymnast? Never thought we'd actually be able to take that fiend down. That Emma was one tough gal. Not as tough as Chief Melody. She's the toughest gal of them all. Forget the Chief, just call me Melody, and you're not half bad yourselves. Well, thanks. Uh-oh. Finish him! What's that light? Tetsuya! A gemstone! You've done well to release me, Traveler. I'm the spirit of autonomy, lord over the gates of time and space. And I open the way for the travelers whom the goddess has summoned. Hold your sword aloft, Traveler. Oh, awesome! Hey! We got a quick jump, too! Sweet! Yeah, I got the gem of the sage. And we learned to use magic! Awesome! So now we are able to heal, thank god, and we learned the mighty exit spell! Woohoo! Which does exactly what you think it does. Yeah, it is pretty useful. But what's going on? Tetsuya's a traveler. A traveler? Yep, real deal. That explains where he learned to fight like that. No kidding. Now to find that star seagull. My charm keeps shining, so where the heck is it? We have to find it. Sakes alive! Don't bother! Look! Oh, whoa! This is... are they like in one... Amazing! So... it was actually the whole ruins! Hmm... 
looks that way. No wonder it's been glowing this whole time. Vision? Ooh -ee. Show off some more, why don't ya? Uh, they cut me off. Lovely. Ah, Tatsuya! I wrote your name on your sleeve, just in case you get lost. Yeah, I'm sure. Hmm. How suspect. I fell right into the hole that I dug. I dug a trap yesterday. Huh. So she's what you're wasting your wish on. Oh, it's Ray! How's the gemstone collection coming along? I wouldn't do that unless you want me to blow you and your girlfriend away. Anyway, since I was in town, I thought I'd impart one of life's little lessons. Don't trust anybody. Or do trust them. See if I care, but you'll regret it. Looks like my time here is up. Just so you know, if you get in my way, I'll reduce your little friend to ash. And I'll slice your kitty cat and lizard pals into bits. Later. Dear, dear, he came home. Look, see? He came home. He made dinner for us. Dear? Dear? Hmm. I wonder who that could possibly be. Slices into bits. And where does he get off threatening Miki? Coward. Don't trust anyone. That's an insult to the Highlanders, don't you agree, War? Yes, Chief, I most certainly do. Lord, Pram, recite a Branson's Creed. That'd be all for one, and one for all. I thought that was a Three Musketeers Creed. Precisely. I consider that brat's words an affront to our entire branch, which means all just have to crack down on that rotten attitude of his. Lord, Lord Pram, I've decided to join Tatsuya on his quest. You take care of Vahadin in my stead. Understood? Whoopee! Hear that, Tatsuya? Money's coming on with us! Oh, here we go again. Stopper Lloyd. Are you crazy? I want to die a bachelor. A branch chief leaving her post? That's unheard of! I said, understood. Yes, sir. Have a nice trip, sir. Now let's see him. Huh? Vance, you picked the ones that dropped, didn't you? Yes, Chief, we certainly did, but why? Tatsuya, Yuno, Sobreth, form ranks. Kneel. God is creator. We are those who receive the will of the fireworm. Protectors of the code, hunters of the truth. We who come before you now bow at your feet, goddess. We give to your souls and swear a solemn oath to despise that which is evil, to save that which is weak, to drive back the chaos and stand true as steel until our bodies fall to dust. We will walk hand in hand, following always the star of righteousness. Worth the fireworm bands. Oh, now I get it. You couldn't figure out what was going on earlier, seriously? You can't say novices forever. But those are our bands. Aww. <laughs> she told y'all. She's like, y'all suck. I'm giving it to these eight-year-olds. Gee, I feel kind of bad. Tetsuya, hold out your arm. Hey, sweet. Three ran out. True Highlanders. Blessings upon our new comrades. Sweet. Awesome, yeah, so now we can get bounties according to the number of monsters that we kill to get even more moolah and money inside quests! Be well, friends. Find some way to explain this to Cecilia. Safe travels, Chief. Sorry we took your bands. No worries. We're requesting new ones from headquarters. Hey, if you have no other destination, you may want to head for Gisara. With all the traders that pass through, you might get a lead on the next gemstone. Take care of Melody for us, little brave. Gasara, huh? Much obliged. Let's go, Tetsuya. Well, we're not going to Gasara next time. Ooh, chapter 7, Vision Cataclysm. Man, we're going through chapters like mad. Because next time, we're doing side quests. 
This has been David on Let's Play Brave Story New Traveler. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And happy watching!